It is Friday, October 23rd, 2020, and this is Truly News. I am your host, Jason Van Sickle. As always, we start with a quick rundown of the top headlines from the nation's largest newspapers. From USA Today, the presidential debate was less confrontational and more civilized, in part due to the microphone muting rule. Trump dialed it back while Biden defended his son. From the Wall Street Journal, Trump and Biden offered different views of coronavirus response and questioned each other's records on economic and racial justice issues. From the New York Times, a calmer debate, but conflict in matters of substance and vision punctuated by sharp attacks and harsh personal critiques could not have been more dramatic. From the Los Angeles Times, key takeaways from the debate. Trump toned it down, but lied a lot. Biden held his own and defended his son. And both had very different views of COVID. And from the Washington Post, Trump cast Biden as a scandalous politician who failed over decades in office, and Biden portrayed Trump as abusing immigrants and mishandling COVID. And here are the stories that are crossing the wire at Reuters News. Colorado wildfires, which are the largest in the state's history, continued and burned another 45,000 acres on Thursday while moving westward toward mountain towns. And also from Reuters, California Appeals Court rules Uber and Lyft must reclassify drivers as employees and not contractors without benefits. And those are your top headlines for today. Now, here is our announcer, Ron Johnson, with a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is the Funny Bumper Sticker Factory, with their newest bumper sticker that says, quote, My other bumper sticker is political, unquote. Amuse yourself as you watch passers-by try to find the other bumper sticker and decide if they like you. Coming soon, the new Scratch and Sniff bumper stickers. Thank you to Funny Bumper Sticker Factory for today's sponsorship. Thank you, Ron. And now we return to the news. In social issues... From the Pew Research Center, 10% of eligible voters this year are Generation Z who range in age from 18 to 23 and they reflect a growing racial diversity within the U.S. electorate. While a majority, 55%, are white, 22% are Hispanic, which is significantly higher than any other generation. However, Older generations have two to four times more immigrants than Generation Z. In environmental news from U.S. World and News Report, forecasters predict that a drought is likely this winter. Most of the United States should see a warmer than normal winter according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The warmer and drier weather will be driven by La Nina, an ocean-based atmospheric phenomenon that alters weather patterns worldwide. And those are your headlines from social issues and environmental news. We now take a break from the news to present our joke of the day presented by my friend Billy Cunningham. Billy is a comedian who goes by the stage name Potbelly and here's Billy. Thank you Jason. This is Billy Potbelly Billy Cunningham with your joke of the day. These jokes are from Reader's Digest, but I edit them a little to make them even funnier. So, here we go. My buddy Ronnie is not the sharpest tool in the shed. While out fishing together last weekend, a cold front rolled in and the temperature suddenly dropped to 20 degrees. 
We were both in shorts, so we called it a day, packed up, and headed for my truck. When we got there, I remembered that I had thrown my keys in the bottom of my backpack. So, stopping to set the backpack down, I told Ronnie, Sorry, buddy. I have to find my keys. They're somewhere in here. Shivering, he replied, No problem, but... Can we sit in the truck while you find your keys? <laughs> oh, Ronnie. I love you, man. But you are definitely one fry short of a Happy Meal. <laughs> oh, anyway, that is your joke of the day. Until next time, be kind to others. Be good to yourself and keep on smiling. This is Billy Potbelly Cunningham. Over and out. There you have it, folks. Billy and his joke of the day. Thanks, Billy. We now return to our review of the day's news. In Science News from ScienceNews.com. A rare beetle that has a strong protective shell is capable of surviving getting run over by a car, and the structure of its cell may teach scientists a lesson about how to improve the strength of things like body armor, buildings, bridges, and vehicles. With the scientific name Floeotis diabolicus, the beetle lives in northern America and can withstand crushing pressures that are 39 thousand times its body weight. And in technology news from the American Association for the Advancement of Science, a new type of microscope technology called cryo-electron microscopy has been used to pinpoint the positions of individual atoms in molecules. Quote, this is just amazing. To see this level of detail is beautiful, unquote, says Melanie Ohi at the University of Michigan. The heightened resolution is capable of showing how cellular machines do their work. In space news from NASA, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy and his two Russian crewmates landed safely on Earth yesterday after spending over six months on the space station. While on the station, Cassidy completed four spacewalks and worked on hundreds of projects, including Astro B, a cube-shaped robot designed to help astronauts with routine jobs in space. And that is your science, technology, and space news for today. Now it is time for our words of wisdom and encouragement. To present this segment is Dr. Albert Feinstein, my philosophy professor from college. And here is Dr. Feinstein. Thank you, Mr. Van Siegel. Hello, and welcome to today's Words of Wisdom and Encouragement. Today's words are from the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, who said... Knowing others is wisdom. Knowing yourself is enlightenment. This statement expresses the importance of knowing others and yourself. Learning about others gives us insight into the human condition and the people we encounter. That insight is wisdom. Learning about ourselves through self-analysis and self-reflection makes us more self-aware. That awareness is enlightenment. Improving our lives involves continuously seeking wisdom and enlightenment. And those are your words of wisdom and encouragement for today. Until next time, keep seeking wisdom and believe in your incredible potential. 
Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Feinstein. We appreciate your words of wisdom and encouragement. And now we return to our review of the day's news. In health news from MSN, a teen wins a $25,000 prize for research on a potential COVID-19 cure. Annika Cheberlew, 14, was named the winner of the 2020 3M Young Scientist Challenge, a competition for middle school scientists. The 8th graders project isolated a lead compound from almost 698 million molecules that could help advance a cure for COVID. In economic news from CNBC, sales of existing homes increased by 9.4% in September with prices seen as rising too fast due to the low number of homes for sale. The number of homes for sale is the lowest since realtors began tracking supply numbers in 1982. The tight supply caused the medium home price to reach $311,800 in September, up 14.8% from a year earlier. In world news from Reuters News Agency, Brexit, a combination of the words Britain and exit, is still uncertain. Britain voted to exit the European Union four years ago. Since then, it has wanted to keep the free trade deal it had with other countries as an EU member, but the EU is not willing to give those benefits to a non-member. Negotiations between the two sides resumes this week. And that is your health, economic, and world news for today. In entertainment news, we start with new movies, and today's movie is The Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting, starring Tamara Smart, Una Lawrence, and Tom Felton. This movie falls into the categories of comedy, family, and fantasy. And here is the description from IMDb. A babysitter embarks on a mission to save a child who has been abducted by monsters. A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting is now showing on Netflix. Moving on, in newly released shows, today's show is Dark, starring Lewis Hoffman, Caroline Eckhorn, and Lisa Vicari. This series falls into the categories of crime, drama, and mystery. And here is the description from IMDb. A family saga with a supernatural twist set in a German town where the disappearance of two young children exposes the relationship among four families. Season 3 of Dark is now showing on Netflix. Finally, in entertainment news, we look at newly published books. And our book for today is A Time for Mercy by John Grisham. This book is presently number one on the New York Times fiction bestseller list. Here is a summary from Amazon. In 1990, Mississippi, Jake Brigance finds himself in a deeply divisive trial when the court appoints him attorney for Drew Gamble, a timid 16-year-old accused of murdering the deputy. A Time for Mercy is now available at your local bookstore and in print, Kindle and audiobook format from Amazon. And that concludes our entertainment news for the day. As always, we end our broadcasts with a segment that we call Hope for Humanity, news about the goodness and kindness that people show each other every day. And here is today's Hope for Humanity news. Tina Tillman is helping adults with mental and physical special needs to get in shape. After working in physical therapy for 25 years, Tillman founded Me and You Abilities Academy for special needs individuals. Tillman said the years working with and forming friendships with these men and women has been amazing. Quote, once you're a part of their world, they're the most incredible human beings there are, unquote. During the pandemic, Tillman has worked extra hard to schedule virtual classes every day 
to make sure that her special friends stay active. And that is your news for October 23rd, 2020. Have a wonderful day.